I guess in this video, I am going to discuss about deadlock situation in Oracle database. So, suppose if one transaction is going to access the resource 1, so resource 1 is a free item, so it, it will be accessed now here after add here, he or she can act block the resource 1. Now here after T2 transaction is try to access resource 2. So this is the free here. So it's a try to access the resource 2. So add here it can be reserved. It can be accessed. Now here after it can. Here after it's a block. Now here after the next thing is T1 is try to access the resource 1. But add here resource. Sorry T1 is try to access resource 2. So resource 2 add here already locked by T2. So it's a not available for T1. So this is not available. So it's a not available for T1. Now here after the next is T2 is trying to access add here resource 1. But resource 1 already locked by T1. So it's a not available. So if this kind of situation comes, so we can say that this is the deadlock. So this is add here deadlock. Let's understand by example. So add here first to uh, add here going to open SQL developer. So two time going to open SQL developer. So Oracle SQL developer it's open. So add here this is the first SQL developer now. Here there is a one more SQL developer, this one. Now here after there is two SQL developer. Now here after let's log in with the HR. Now here I'm going to log in with the HR. So both are loading states. After this is the tables. And here this is the tables on another SQL. So this query that I already written. So and here let's copy them that from here. Now here after I'm going to paste in first SQL developer. So let's make that bigger. So and here this is transaction one. And here first I'm going to create add here. The table item one execute this. So add an item table, it's a created. Now here after let's uh, insert the record inside item. So add here record has been inserted. Now here after item one, this is the record that I inserted. Now here after let's uh, create add here table item two. Now here item 2 is created. Now here after let's insert the record inside item 2. Now here after select a start from item 2. Now here after the next is let's go to add here another SQL. So when I try to do add here a statement select a start from item 1. Now if I execute this one and here after let's go use add here select a star from item 2. So two tables that I created item 1 and item 2. So no any record. So let's do add here commit and here after execute the same so this time it records loaded now here after so the important thing this is the transaction one now here after let's copy another transport transaction two and here after going to paste at this point so this is add here transaction here. Now here after the next important thing is one. So
right here update adam one and set name equal to mary where id equal to two so when that one to have so right here that set the name mary so if i execute to this query so here you can find one row updated now here after when i do with add here update adam to set name martin where id equal to two so add here with adam to it's all done now here after when i do add here update adam to set name with mary so add here this query is running now here after add here doing update adam one set name martin so add here both are add here it's a running state and getting the error date log detected while waiting for the resource and uh, here or uh, this is to the update and here this is the query it's a tested running executing query update add on one set name equal to martin where id equal to two so add here this kind of situation it's a come when add here t1 is try to do the update to resource one so it's a free and here it can be true so after that it's a log for t1 and here when t2 is trying to update the resource of resource 2 so at here it can be because it's free so at here it's a log by t2 now at here t1 is trying to or do the some updates on resource 2 but it's a not available because at here log by t2 and the same thing t2 is trying to update the record resource 1 but it's not available because it's a log by add here t1 so if this kind of situation comes so add here date log occur so this is add here example so add here date log detected while waiting for the resource and here in our second transaction still it's a busy state so add here we need to do only cancel here so i hope that this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you